Um, I didn't have time to grow a real beard before Kevin Beard was hired. The best I could do was a wig and some duct tape. You're welcome. What's going on, Canes fans? That's right, Mario Cristobal has made a hire, and Kevin Beard will be returning home to coach the wide receivers at Miami. Now, before we dive deeper into this hire, we're going to take a look at Beard's past and what we think he brings to the table here at Miami. I need you to do two things for me. Number one, double check and make sure that you have hit the subscribe button on this channel. I took a look at the analytics and it says that roughly 75% of you watch this channel. You watch every single video that I post, but you're not actually subscribed to it. You do know that spring practice starts this week, right? You don't want to miss out on any updates, right? You love Miami Hurricanes football, right? Of course! If you've answered yes to any of those questions, double check and make sure that you're subscribed to this channel. Number two, I also need you to click on the top link down in my description. That will take you to join the completely free Coach Coop Discord server. Over there, we talk Miami Hurricane Sports 24-7, 365. And I'm actually going to add a number three to this. And this is primarily to Hoodie Girl. You, you, you guys know who she is, right? I hope she's watching this video, but you guys can all answer this. Can I get a fit check for this video? Like, bro, come on, what do you think? What do you think? I, I, I couldn't pass on this. Like, the, the Miami basketball team has been popping off. Yes, I know that we lost to Florida State. Uh, that was very disappointing, but we're looking pretty good for placement when it comes to the tournament. We got Pitt coming up, depending on when you're watching this. And I don't normally do the, the basketball jersey hoodie get up. So, come on, come on. Let me know what you think down in the comments. But anyways, with all of that out of the way, just be honest with me, Canes fans. Be blunt. Be transparent. Let me know down in the comments section, what do you think about this hire? Kevin Beard coaching the wide receivers again here at Miami. I personally feel like this is a great move by Mario Cristobal. Now, when I say that, I mean on paper. And it's definitely keyword on paper because I'm not hyping anybody up. I'm not over promising anything for the 2023 season, but yes, on paper, this looks like a pretty good move. And overall, I'm just a, a big fan of this guy. For starters, I mean, how could you not like a guy that played on the 2001 national championship team? Maybe if you're not a Canes fan, but if you do root for Miami, you just, you have to like him, right? So yes, Beard is a former Miami Hurricane, and in case you didn't already know this, he did also coach at Miami back in 2014 and 2015. Well, actually in 2014, he was the assistant director of football operations, but then in 2015, he was promoted to the wide receivers coach and passing game coordinator. And I know what you're thinking. Hold up, Coop. This is a red flag. You said wide receivers coach and passing game coordinator in 2015. What happened after that? You have to remember that we had hired coach Mark Rick to be our new head coach. And once we made that transition, he was not retained. And it's not really a red flag because when you bring in a new head coach, they like to bring in their guys. And that's completely understandable. So Rick just didn't choose to retain Beard on the staff. He then spent a year at Georgia as a quality control assistant. And then at some point in 2017, he coached the wide receivers at the University of Tennessee. Since then, he spent the last five years at Toledo, where the majority of the time he has coached the receivers. So maybe we didn't get Toledo's head coach, Jason Candle. Mario couldn't convince him to pack his bags and move down to Florida and be our OC. But he did snatch one of Toledo's position coaches and convince Beard to move back down to South Florida. Now, a big reason that I personally like this guy, and I'm a big fan of the Kevin Beard hire, is because he just seems to have this ability to connect with players. I don't know if it's 
you know, his history. I mean, he played the position. He's been on a national championship winning team. He has a lot of experience coaching receivers. Maybe it's his personality. Maybe it's his approach when it comes to recruiting. Uh, and I'm sure all of these things influenced Mario's interest when it came to figuring out who was going to be our wide receivers coach, because we all know that with Mario building those relationships and when it comes to things like recruiting, that's a big deal. That's one of the top priorities for Mario. He himself is a master recruiter. And Coach Beard has earned a lot of respect over the years, and he has the potential to be very successful at Miami in his second coaching stint here. Again, potential. Also, on paper. I'm not overpromising anything. And I don't know if you guys saw this or not, but immediately after the hire was made, Jeremiah Smith, the I'm talking about the current five-star wide receiver, 2024 recruit that's committed to Ohio State, jumped on the platform on Twitter and tweeted this, Coach Kevin Beard, a real one. So again, as you can see, Beard has a reputation. These recruits, these players, these kids know him. They like him. And there is a chance that some of these guys, some of these receivers that we need, that we're really wanting, you can put them on flip alert because I think that we might be getting some of these guys in 2024. But hopefully with Kevin Beard coming in, we can see a much improved receiver group in the 2023 season because that position group was pretty underwhelming in 2022. And I know that, again, a lot of that blame, you know, people pointing at Josh Gaddis and a lot of various different things. There are so many variables that play a part in this, right? But overall, we had hyped up that position group. There were some big time names in there, guys that we really thought were going to step up and, and make an impact in 2022 and we just didn't see that happen now it's very important that you know we got this hire in place because again spring practice starts literally this week so it was very important to get beard in here so he can go ahead and start working on that chemistry and building those relationships you know that way he can work with the oc they can start getting game plans together so luckily we got him in here just in time now with this hire i do think that it leaves at least one coaching position open I believe that would be the defensive ends there's a lot of talk around Jason Taylor initially they thought he was going to go to the Dolphins now it's been rumored that he loves coaching at Miami and maybe he just gets an upgraded role time will tell we'll see what happens with that we might make a video on that in the future but uh, let me know down in the comment section below guys what you think about the Kevin Beard hire I think I think it's safe to say that eight to nine out of 10 Canes fans will be ecstatic with this hire on paper. Everything for me is on paper this year. Uh, but I, I love it. Absolutely ecstatic. Couldn't be happier with this hire at this point in time. Let me know, guys. Show me some interaction down there. But remember, though, we're all one big happy college football family. But at the end of the day, I got to say, it's always better when you get to rep the U. Coach Coop, peace out. I'll see y'all in the next one.